Hello Magic players and welcome back to Who Is on Magic Untapped as we explore the origins and backstories of characters from across the Magic the Gathering multiverse. I am Barry White. For those of you who have been following the Outlaws of Thunder Junction story recently, and spoiler alert for those of you who have not, Jace and Vraska found a four Mori child simply known as Loot. In suspended animation, in a pod they found inside an ancient vault known as Mog Taranu on the plain. And it's with this for Mori Child that the pair hopes to make things right in the multiverse. But what is a Fomori? Well, in this episode, we are going to take a look at who is, well, who are the Fomori. Who is it? Who is this? Who is it? Who is this? Who is it? The Fomori, or Coin Empire, as the planeswalker Quintorius Khan has named them in his studies of the race, are known as plains travelers and colonizers. The race itself is comprised of massive humanoid giants with gray skin, horns, thick legs, and they have talons at the end of each finger. In short, they're a bit imposing. They hail from the plain of Ir, specifically from the island of Turi, an island which the Fomori have developed into one giant fortress due to its unusually high richness of mana, and to defend against repeated attacks from planeswalkers seeking the resources there. Far, far in the past, members of the Coin Empire traveled to the plain of Ixalan. There, they arrived at the plain's core and pleaded to the Altec, the dominant civilization of ancient Ixalan, for refuge. They were refused and, shortly thereafter, the Fomori turned hostile against the Altec. For some 320 years, war was waged between the natives of Ixalan and the Fomori invaders. It wasn't until a final assault by the Fomori destroyed much of the plane's inner core and, with it, most all of the Altec. At some point after the Fomori's overtaking of Ixalan, however, things went sour. For reasons yet unknown, the civilization collapsed, all but vanishing from the multiverse, save for coin-like relics, hence the moniker Coin Empire, and vaults such as Mog Tarano in Thunder Junction. While the Fomori civilization may have been lost to the multiverse, it wasn't lost to time. A handful of historians, explorers, and scholars kept them alive, if only in records. One of those historians is the Kamigawan planeswalker, Tamio, whom had in her possession a scroll that told of an ancient Fomori vault on a remote and supposedly uninhabited plain. Not long after the events on Ravnica, that would be known as the War of the Spark, the planeswalker, Jace Bellerin, met with Tamio inquiring about such a place. She shared with Jace what she knew. Years later, after the new Phyrexian invasion of the multiverse was repelled, the academic planeswalker, Kentorius Khan, rediscovered evidence of the Empire by means of odd, coin-like motifs that he found in his travels. That is, until he was contacted by Sahili Rai, whom was aware of his studies. She informed him that similar motifs were found in the caverns beneath Orkazga, the golden city of Ixalan. The Loxodon traveled to the plain and joined an expedition into the plain's core where he hoped to find more clues of this coin empire. What he did find was ancient wreckage, ruins, and the spirits of the Oltec. In conversations with them, he was told the history of the invasion of the Fomori and was directed to a place the natives call Colony's End. There he found the wreckage of a Coin Empire interplanar ship, donning the same coin-like motifs. While he discovered little more to help him with his understanding of this mysterious ancient race, he did encounter a giant still held in stasis within the ship. As he drew closer to the body, however, it began to stir, and Quint, perhaps wisely, made a hasty escape. And for now, that's about all that is known about the Fomori pretty much right up until Vraska and Jace found the Fomori child, Loot, in a similar stasis chamber to the one Quint had found on Ixalan. As for the Fomori in card form, the race made its debut in 2007's Future Sight with the card Fomori Nomad, and then was seen again in Commander 2011 by way of the card Ruhan of the Fomori. Then, Aside from a flavor text reference in the set Lost Caverns of Ixalan, they won't be seen again until Outlaws of Thunder Junction releases on April 19, 
with the cards Loot, Key to Everything, and From Ori Vault. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Who Is here on Magic Untapped. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you're feeling so generous, we have a tip jar on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.